There is confusion and uncertainty tonight after reports Iran's so-called morality police would be disbanded. Comments from the country's public prosecutor ignited a flurry of media reports and skepticism. Susan Ormiston has been tracking the developments from Washington. And Susan, take us through what the public prosecutor said. Responding to a reporter's question, Jafar Montazari was quoted as saying the so-called morality police had shut down, but his comments were vague, and within hours people were expressing deep skepticism. And later, the state media said that no Iranian official had confirmed it. We asked writer and Iran watcher Arash Azizi, a Canadian, for an interpretation. We don't actually know actually what happened. Like, was this really just a slip of the tongue by Montazari? Or was it a policy that he knows is going to be implemented? But what we know is that there is a lot of infighting in the Iranian regime. Um, there is a lot of differences of opinion inside the Iranian regime. And it was the death of a 22-year-old woman detained by police for allegedly not properly wearing a head covering, which ignited these widespread protests that we've seen where hundreds of protesters have died. There is no change to the compulsory hijab law, but the remarks, confusing as they were, could signal questions about any concessions to protesters. I don't think any of it will be sufficient. Um, I don't think any of it is, frankly, really representative of their true intentions, and I don't think it will be enough to quell the protests. So, Susan, what should we watch for this week? Well, the protesters are calling for economic strikes beginning Monday and a rally in Tehran Square on Wednesday, which is also Student Day. A lot of protesters um, are calling for three days of action, and it's going to be widespread, I suspect. The regime has simply been unable to address these protests and their needs, and I think the next few days are going to be a significant show of force by um, Iranian people against the regime. Protesters into a third month now are really trying to step up the pressure this week. Thanks, Susan.